In order to store and retrieve data from DynamoDB, we first need to define a table. The serverless YAML therefore has a resources section where you can define all sorts of AWS resources in the CloudFormation syntax. To define a table, we need to start out with defining a name. Because we're going to make a to-do list, we're actually going to provide the name to do DynamoDB table. Next up, we actually have to define the type. In this case, it will be of type AWS DynamoDB table. The next attribute we're going to define is the deletion policy. We're going to set it to retain, which means like even if we remove the stack, the table will still be there and our data will not be lost. With the NemoDB, you don't have to provide a schema, but what you have to provide is which attribute is going to be the primary key. We're going to do this now by defining the properties, the attribute definition, and we're going to take the ID as an attribute name, which is of type string, and this is going to be of key type hash. There's one more required attribute, which is the provision throughput. You can actually define the write and read capacity of your DynamoDB table. We're setting both values to 1, since for demo purposes we won't have a lot of reads nor writes. Last but not least, we set our table name. Now we are all set, and with our next serverless deploy, this table will be created.